Hey, hamster lovers, welcome to another episode of Typewriter the Hamster. Her cage has changed a little bit because she's growing and she needed more room. I wanted to share just a few things that I've done for Typewriter's cage. I went to several Dollar Trees in order to find one that had the glass containers like this. I think they are really pretty like that and I think it keeps them fresher. I think Typewriter absolutely loves her house. It's constructed from cardboard. You can see this end is closed, and I think she nests in that end. We have two openings here, and then you can't really see, but all the way through there are openings on the back as well. Of course, at this point, it is slid back against the back, so those um, holes in the back of the house don't really do much right now. Let's open the cage, and let's turn this light on typewriter will be waking up soon. There's also a hole in the house on this side, and I've got a lot of bedding in here so that she can um, burrow if she wants to. I don't really think she has started much of that yet. You can see how uh, it's really packed into the side. I might just leave that open and see if she comes out that way. That would be kind of fun. She's got her block up here. I keep food in the bowls, but also I spread out just little bits and pieces so that she can forage. This pine cone came from the pet store. I was tempted to try to clean some up from the yard, but and I did try, but it felt to me like they still had tar or uh, resin on them, and I just did not want to risk making her sick. She has a new wheel that's actually big enough for her. Um, she had the disc earlier, but I think she was outgrowing that pretty fast. There's not too much more to, to show you as far as the cage. Let me back up and show you. So this is a large tank. I, as I've mentioned before, it's a 40-gallon breeder tank. But I just want something bigger. The more that I learn about hamsters, the more I realize they really do need room to explore and to forage and burrow. And I don't know, I just love my little typewriter girl. I wish she would come out so that you can see her when she first wakes up. Well, look who's awake. Goodness, hello. Oh, hi there. How are you? You doing pretty good? Are you out foraging? Are you out foraging this evening? Hi. Yeah. Hi, typewriter. Typewriter seems to be adjusting to everything here and even to the little changes we're making to her cage. I think she liked the wooden house a lot, but she is growing really fast. She still won't get in my hand, but she will let me pet her.